The big mission in the coming decade could well be Mars sample return. We've never brought samples back from Mars. We have about 100 or so samples from Mars that have been thrown off through meteorite impacts and they've fallen to the Earth. But we don't know where they came from on Mars and they're very small and they're very precious. But there is a mission that is launching in 2020 that will go to Mars, it's got a rover, take some samples and actually collect and store them on the surface. And then those samples are going to be picked up by another rover a few years later, brought back to a small rocket, launch from Mars, go to a satellite and be brought back to the Earth. This may well be one of the only ways we can address the question of whether there's life on Mars. There is a renewed interest in going back to the moon and not just with landers or satellites or rovers, but with people as well. We go, we go as the Artemis generation. So sending humans back to the moon, it not only means that we can do things a lot better and a lot quicker, but we can now bring the rocks back to the earth where the analyses that we can carry out are orders of magnitude better than we could do on the moon or that we kind of would want to do with rovers and, and robots. It's not too far away, um, but it's not too close that it's easy. And so it's a good practice ground. If you want to get into the business of sending a planetary mission, then the moon is a good place to go. For me, this should be one of our, our next big targets because Venus is a planet that is not very far away. It's almost the same size as the Earth, made of the same material, formed at the same time, and yet is almost completely different in, in every way. Venus is 500 degrees on the surface with a really high pressure, sulfuric acid clouds, and extremely volcanic surface, really, really different to the Earth. And yet we know very little about why that's the case. We've had one fairly good look at it with the Magellan mission in the early 1990s, and we've never been back to look at the surface. And so I'd say there is a bit of momentum starting in this, this push to go back to Venus to understand why Venus has evolved so differently to the Earth.